Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your 12 zodiac read for June 2019. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I highly encourage you to check out all of them. The Fool just popped out. Alright Pisces, one more good shuffle here. Alright, we're ready to roll. All right, your guys' energy at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Its clarifier is the Eight of Wands. All right. If you are a Pisces dealing with an Aries, well, they are coming in and just warming up your heart and soul. Um, you are, uh, you've been through a lot with this person. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of fire, but you've been through a lot with this person. The two of you have... Um, or had gone your separate ways to go through your own separate transformations. Communication is opening up between the two of you. You are reaching out to this Leo because you are seeing the uh, the path that's been illuminated for you to connect with this person. In the month of June, this is not just a good relationship. This is stellar. This is amazing. Moving very quickly in the month of June and, um, of course, being together still um, very strong at the end of the month. If you are a Pisces dealing with a Taurus, my goodness, lots of love for you guys. The Taurus <coughs> could have had a choice between two people. Um, you've been through the ringer with this person as well. Uh, you feel like you've been at it alone. You had to learn to balance out your own life, your own situations before the two of you could come back together. They are opening up communication with you, letting you know that a choice that they want to give this relationship a chance. The two of you are coming in together, um, especially if they have a strong Gemini rising or moon. This is uh, going to last the test of time. Actually, this is a beautiful connection that will um, end in a lifetime commitment. For those of you dealing with a Gemini, they come in as the king of cups, very um, finally getting their emotions in check, finally getting some balance into their life, into their feelings, into their heart, knowing what it is that they want. They are ready to take action and offer you um, a big romance for the, this group of Pisces. Um, you could have had a big argument not too long ago, and since then communication was kind of halted. That is opening back up very quickly for the two of you, um, and this is going to end um, the month with a very um, loving reunion between the two. If you are a Pisces dealing with a cancer, you're dealing with a uh, true life partner, the person that you are meant to spend the rest of your life with. Um, this person is uh, also going through some transformation. They're also working through some confusion. Um, so you kind of feel slighted by them. You kind of feel like tossed to the side, but that's not their intentions. They just have a lot of sh uh, stuff in their own life that they're trying to figure out as well. Um, but Cupid's arrow is coming for them. The communication will open back up and the two of you will be able to move forward, um, ending this cycle that you guys are coming out of together, but beginning a new one um, with this slate wiped clean and the, uh, the Ace of Wands coming very soon. Um, in the month of June, the two of you will come together. By the end of the month, you will still be together and it will be um, a very good uh, connection between the two of you. If you are a Pisces dealing with a Leo, some of them are um, seeking justice. The ending of this relationship, um, for some of you, they are communicating with you. It could be form of like internet or text message, um, but you are receiving a message about wanting to sever the marriage between the two of you. Um, for those of you who are waiting on a Leo, you or they are balancing, getting their life in balance, getting out of a relationship that they were currently in, and moving forward in their truth, heading towards you, um, Pisces. This by the end of June, this will come together. For those of you who are not together yet, um, for those of you, like I said, who are already married to this Leo, that is going to come to an end. Um, you will receive those uh, messages. So for some of you, just out of the blue in the month of June. 
If you are a Pisces dealing with a Virgo, you have the Ten of Cups. Finally came to um, a, a place in your relationship where you can sit back and just enjoy the the person you're with. Enjoy your family. This is, um, you know, in the month of June, you guys will be getting out, doing a lot of different things, um, taking the kids out, the grandkids out. Um, this is a lot of family activity in the month of June. It's going to wear you out, but it's going to be totally worth it because it's your uh, month of June with this Virgo is going to be very fast paced, but very successful ending out the month in a beautiful, um, connection with somebody. If you are dealing with a Libra, you guys are facing some financial issues, um, some hardships. There could be children involved. Um, this this couple is in a separation at the moment. Uh, you could be leaving them um, out, Pisces. You could be um, intentionally not letting them in on some information about what's going on in your life. Communication will open up, but there's still some hard feelings here. Um, this relationship is going to be on the rocks at the end of June. It'll still be together, but there's some definite issues that have to be worked through if this is going to be saved. Um, but the thing is... Uh, Pisces is Libra has to fit, help themselves. Um, they can't just sit out in the cold. They got to get up and do something about it. Um, both need to work on the relationship, but for some of you, these Libras aren't going to, and it'll end eventually. Um, for some of you, you will, will both, um, begin to work on this and it will slowly um, get better at the end of June. I see you guys being on the rocks, um, needing to work through some, issues within the relationship, especially around finances. For those of you Pisces dealing with Scorpio, the King of Pentacles, Pisces, overall, your readings have been awesome up to this point. Um, King of Pentacles, this Scorpio is coming in very confident, very secure, um, a whole new them. They just went through a transformation. They are realizing their, um, their position in the world and they're taking charge. They're making good money. They could have just got a new job. Uh, but they're ready to to focus on the family, put the finances aside. They've got that figured out now. Now they want to concentrate on um, a family life, building a home, building a you know a unit with you. Um, they could have been um, possibly like ignoring you while they were concentrating on their finances, making you feel alone, left alone to uh, deal with your own vices, but. It's going to move forward very quickly. Communication is coming in very fast, and the two of you are going to pick up like it never ended. Um, at the end of by the end of June, Scorpio and Pisces, you guys look um, stable and passionate and loving, and it just looks stellar for these two. All right, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you're at a distance from this person. A lot of fire here as well. This person sees you as their entire world. Both of you could have psychic abilities or are very intuitive. You could be communicating um, like in your dreams, you know, on a higher level of consciousness. Um, but this person is waiting for you to come to come back. Um, they are sitting at a distance waiting for you to realize that the two of you do belong together. You're kind of hesitant because the two of you have been through some shit in the past. Um, it's time to put that behind you and, and move forward. This is going to be very successful if you allow it, Pisces. This person um, has worked very hard on healing. Um, you have done a lot of inner work yourself and the two of you by the end of June, this distance is going to close. Um, I do see you like physically, your distance will come to an end at the end of July, beginning of August, but you two will open up and start communicating, um, putting the past behind you and moving forward. June looks great, um, as a first stepping stone in a relationship with the Sagittarius Pisces. All right, if you are a Pisces dealing with a Capricorn, they are in a state of silence right now. They could not be talking to you. They're doing some deep self-reflection. They're um, trying to figure out what their next step is and where their place in this world is. You're feeling kind of left out. You feel like I've been this far with, with you. I've gone through all this shit with you. And now you're going to walk away and not talk to me, you know, cut me off. What the hell kind of shit is that? Um, be patient. They're doing the best they can. They're finding that inner light, and that inner light does include the fire that you have. So um, when they come out of this time of retreat, um, they are going to seek you out and open up communication with you. They are not um, seeing anyone else or doing anything else with anybody. They are truly um, in a place of inner reflection, trying to get um, centered with themselves and trying to get their own world figured out. Um, 
and then they're going to come out of this successfully and reach out to you. Um, then being able to put the burden down of the past, the two of you will start a new cycle together. It'll move very quickly as well. Um, by the end of June, you guys are um, back to communicating and working out your future plans. If you are a Pisces dealing with an Aquarius, you're at a, they are at a crossroads when it comes to the connection. Um, they're really thinking hard about this. They're not sure which direction is best for them. The two of you have been through some kind of heavy stuff lately. Uh, they do know that that you are a major part of their world. They're just not sure if they can get over um, what has gone on in the past or they're not sure if you forgive them for what happened in the past, however it fits. The key to this is needing to open up uh, communication. Pisces, if you want this to work with this Aquarius, you're going to have to open up communication and let them know how passionate and how much you love this connection and want to work on this connection because right now they're stuck between what they want and what you are thinking like they don't know how you are thinking feeling or what you want in the future so open up communication with this aquarius and if you do by the end of um uh june the two of you will be picking a path together instead of them just picking a path and hoping it's yours you guys will be working this out and moving forward as a couple pisces dealing with pisces the four of pentacles so one of you <coughs> One of you has your guard up and the other one has your wall up. Um, between the two of you, communication cannot go, um, cannot penetrate either one. Uh, your One of you is kind of sitting in silence, uh, like irritated, and the other one is sitting in silence, like pouting. <laughs> so... Um, once again, the key to opening the uh, the key to this relationship working is the Eight of Wands. However, the person you are dealing with, uh, Pisces, they are being very greedy with their time, their energy, their investments, their investment in you. They could be um, hiding finances from you, uh, not sharing what is. Uh, supposed to be half yours this could be a divorce and you are fighting tooth and nail and this person is holding on with the death grip um this uh is going to move forward very quickly unfortunately i do see for the majority of you this ending but um for those of you in, in divorce it's not ending in june it's ending in july uh for those of you who are not getting a divorce and you're just right now separated uh you have to let your guard down before they're going to let your wall, their wall down. You two are the same element. You guys are too much alike. You're going to have to let your uh, guard down first before they'll let their wall down. If you do and open up communication with this person, it will move in the right direction. Um, and by uh, mid-July, the two of you will be able to start seeing forward progress instead of um, sitting here in silence with each other. So... All right, Pisces, that is your June 12 Zodiac reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day and God bless.